Welcome to the 15th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Today we hear how Jesus sent his disciples out to spread his word. But even though they had to travel far and wide, Jesus told them not to take any of their belongings with them. Let's think a bit more about this. Good morning. We're going to start today's liturgy by making the sign of the cross. From my head to my heart, from shoulder to shoulder, I love you, Jesus. Amen. And now we're going to light a candle to show that Jesus is the light of the world. Sometimes we do things that we're sorry for. Maybe we've argued with a friend or haven't done what our grown-up has asked us. Let's take a moment to think about these things and to say sorry for them. Close your eyes and think of one thing that you're sorry for. You can open them again now. When we say sorry to God, God forgives us. When we say that we are sorry, God forgives. When we say that we are sorry, God forgives. If it's big or if it's small, we know God forgives us all. When we say that we are sorry, God forgives. Today's Gospel is by Mark. Let's do our crosses so we're ready to listen to the Gospel. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Jesus called the twelve disciples together and sent them out two by two. He gave them authority over the evil spirits and ordered them, Don't take anything with you on your journey except a stick. No bread, no beggar's bowl, no money in your pockets. Wear sandals, but don't carry an extra shirt. He also said, wherever you are welcomed, stay in the same house until you leave that place. If you come to a town where people do not welcome you or will not listen to you, leave it and shake the dust off your feet. That will be a warning to them. So they went out and preached that people should turn away from their senses. They drove out many demons, demons and robbed oil on many sick people and held them, healed. healed them. What do you remember from today's reading? Jesus sends his disciples out to spread the word, but what did he say that they could take with them? Do you remember? They weren't allowed to take anything with them except for a stick to help them walk on their journey. They couldn't take a bag or any food or any money, not even a change of clothes. How do you think the disciples felt about this? When was the last time that you went away? Can you remember it? What did you take with you? How do you think you would like it to go away without any clean clothes or any toys or books or any money to spend? The disciples had nothing. It must have been very difficult. And without food or money to buy food, they could have been very hungry. They had to rely on the people they met along the way, being kind and generous, inviting the disciples to stay with them and share their food. In the world today, some people have to leave their homes very quickly because of fighting nearby or because of floods or other natural disasters. 
they do not get to take very much with them, just what they can carry. Hi, all, that, all that we have is given to us by God, and it is meant for all people to share. So this week, let's try to be open to others, share what we have, and be friendly and welcoming to everyone. How will you share and be welcoming to others this week? Make a list of what you would take with you if you had to leave your home. What if you could only take the most two important things on your list? What would you take and why? God of love, help us to share your love with others. Open our hearts so that we might welcome all who are in need and do our best to make sure that all people have enough. Amen. See you next week. Bye.